Okay, so it's a, uh, a day after the tournament and a bit, a bit more time to reflect and I'm out practicing. This is pretty much going to be my uh, base when practicing most of the time. This is Hart Common Golf Club, uh, only minutes away from my house and it's got this exceptional par 3 course. I was actually a junior member here uh, and it's just got the most amazing short game area to practice on. Par 3, 9 holes, fantastic uh, 3 holes to practice on, just 3 complete holes to practice on, that's separate to this and then driving range, putting grid and 18 on golf course. So I've come out on the par 3 course because my scrambling yesterday was truly dreadful. After so many fairways, more fairways, so many more greens, I was very timid in my putting and dreadful in my pitching. So I spent some time out here. My mission is to get round this nine hole golf course in as many under par as possible. Now, I feel like I'm doing all right today. That's, I've just pitched one in here. That's my pitch mark to the pin. I've just run it a little bit too far past. It's beautiful, look at that backdrop. So, should we see if I can hold this? Sorry guys, the phone dropped and I missed the putt. Um, right, so I'm gonna keep practicing, keep getting as much as I can. We're, me and Pete, are uh, going for a practice round tomorrow at the next venue, next event. So it's Bolton Old Links. Played there before, so I want to get a practice round in. Playing there tomorrow, so there'll be a practice round course vlog type update coming tomorrow. Just found something in my putting as well, which I feel like it might work. Just to make a note, I've gone more traditional grip. Hopefully, touch wood, getting right away from the claw. But my elbows apart, feeling like I'm almost pulling the club in. Um, and then just keeping that shape in my elbow seems to be really working quite nicely. And I, I just missed that one, that was tricky. But all right, guys, stay tuned, lots more to come. And practice round coming tomorrow. Uh, just before I came out here as well, just been on the driving range, hit about 30 odd golf balls, still trying to work that fade as much as I can. And I feel like it's getting there, that, that fade shot, or I certainly feel like it's fade. It's kind of going dead straight from down to you but it feels like a real big sli slice slash fade for me. Uh, it's getting that ball going a lot straighter. Misses have been a lot better. Um, next time you see me, I'm gonna be at Bolton Old Links. So as promised, the next time you'd see me, I'd be here at Bolton Old Links. We're out, whoa, <laughs> out for a practice round. <laughs> um, as long as a, a rabbit hole doesn't swallow my trolley uh, with Peter Finch. So we had a, I've not told you this yet. Last. On Tuesday, we signed up to play in this event coming Monday at Bolton Old Links. And Pete's absolutely swore down on his life that he'd played here before. And when I asked him to describe the golf course, it wasn't this golf course. And it's confusing because there is another Bolton Golf the, Club. The thing is, though, when and I it's was on. Describing it, it you weren't far same. away, that's it what I was. Been the same. So, adamant. We turn up today, first tee. Never played it. Or have I? Everything's so familiar to me. I don't get it. I don't understand. It'd have been so much easier if it was like a par three start, but both golf courses explain they're both drivable par fours, but still. And they've both got like a similar last hole as well. No. Or like a dip before the green. Yeah. Uh, so, practice round. Uh, join us, we're going to do some slow mos. I'm going to track it as well because I really want to see what the difference is between a practice round and a tournament round. Oh, you game golf? Then? Yeah, we'll game golf. Stay tuned, put in some slow mos. I've just hit a very, uh, very nice opening shot with a little hybrid down here. Very elevated pin and probably. I'm probably a bit too close to the green. But actually, where do you go? Because it's all downhill there. No, about right. Right, stay tuned. And we'll uh, we'll take you around with us. Okay. Birdie put, take one. <laughs> Wondering.
are you enjoying the first time around the golf course, Pete? No, this, would this time. being your first time here? I don't recognize that. Okay, beautiful backdrop. Give me a bit of view, guys. Bolton, ladies and gentlemen. Bolton. Home of Peter K. So those tee shots you've just seen, I absolutely smoked it. That's Peter Finch back there. Peter Big Hitting Finch. Okay, no, he's the Taking some big divots today. Some big chunky divots. Monsters, look at that size of my foot. You take well though, just a big divot. Right, so all finished up at Bolton Old Lynx Golf Club. Um, that was a, a real graft. A weird one. So I've not properly Wait, for some reason my game golf, when I put it into my app it won't let me load the round straight away, I don't understand why that's happening, but I'll get the, all the stats later on. I'm pretty sure I've hit about 15 or 16 greens, loads of fairways, and I've come off three over. Not quite sure how that's happened, and I didn't actually feel like I put it that well. I wasn't putting the ball close enough to the hole, not even close. So there's loads of opportunities where I've hit the green and I've just hit the green. I've just not got it close enough. So that's something I really need to work towards. Um, oh, you're all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> so things that I definitely need to work on is getting closer to the pin from 100 yards and in uh, because I, I'm just wasting shots. I'm hitting good shots, but not getting them close enough at all. So I'm down here now at St. Anne's Old Links doing some chipping practice, doing some putting practice. Uh, might nip up to Lidham Golf Academy as well and hit some shots from 100 yards and then uh, I'll get some data up from my game golf uh, once I get back home, once I get it up on the laptop, so stay tuned for that. But Honestly, I've really hit the ball well today and I finished three over and I'm, and I'm questioning how that's really happened. That's fine. I, I've, I've hit the ball well. I'm confident moving into uh, Monday's event. It's a golf course that I can definitely score around on. The biggest thing, it wasn't particularly windy today and it can get windy. I know it can get windy up there. It's right up on the hills as you saw some of the images. So I know it can get windy. So I just need to uh, bide my time around that course. Par fives are pretty reachable. Um, par, lots of reachable par fours so therefore really short par fours so the score can be made there i just need to get the ball closer to home and i'm pitching so when i get back i'll do some more stats i'll show some clips of me perhaps on the putting green uh, here at st Anne's, and then uh fingers crossed it should all click together for a decent round on monday 
I've got a, I've got an embarrassing uh, thing to show you. <laughs> I have bought a practice clicker tube. Practice clicker tube. This is serious stuff. This is definitely serious. So I think it's probably I'm long enough to get onto the par five, so I should be able to. But even when I put it close today, ten feet, six feet, the bird it never sunk, up, just never capsized. Again, didn't feel like it bad putts, but just never got it in. So that's what I'm going to practice now. That range of kind of six to ten feet. Try and put myself under a pressure by doing the clock drills, so trying to go around the hole, see if I can hold them all as many times as I can, just to get that confidence. Even when I did get it close, I reckon I had probably about I don't know perfect start to maybe about 37 putts today and what's weird I really didn't think I putted that bad loads of two putts I just never got close enough and when I did I never capitalized and sunk the putt guys so I'm finally back home and I've uploaded my uh, round to game golf you see all of the, uh, the shots I hit today but no links Thursday the 3rd of September so it was, a, it was a really funny round of golf if I didn't know the score and you'd asked me how I'd played I'd say very well if you didn't if I didn't know the score the fact that I shot three over 75 I've hit 60% fairways new record I hit 94% of greens I missed one green which was the third I missed one green okay <laughs> hello that's a bad start the one green I missed I didn't get up and down so terrible for my scrambling. Um, I hit literally the longest shot of, of the day down. I can't remember where it was. Maybe 13, um, 255. I, you know, I, I hit my driver fantastic. I hit my driver fantastic. I hit the ball well, really well. I'm just confused of uh, how that score's come about. I played with Pete. Pete shot two over and uh, without question, I outplayed him without without question. I had made 15 pars, no birdies, three bogeys, and he still won. I just, I was not at all getting close enough to the pin, not even a little bit. And the chances that I did, when I did get close to the pin, I didn't capitalise at all. The par fives I didn't reach into, I could have reached into, I missed the greens and didn't get up and down for effectively birdies. If I birded those par fives, and, and maybe scoots up a couple others on the way around. An easy under par round. It's quite exciting. Quite um, quite a rewarding round of golf. Because I came off thinking, you know what? I've hit the ball really well today. So what we did, we went out to St. Anne's and we did, well, I did about two and a half hours of chipping and putting practice. Particularly putting. Um, my look at trying a different putter. Um, at the start of this vlog, I talked about trying to trying a different style of putting where traditional grip elbows away. And again, in a weird way, if you'd have said, how did I put? It would have been okay. Yeah, I put it all right. I had 38 puts. 38. <laughs> so I had enough practice putting like that, which I think... Uh, I think I can safely say that didn't didn't quite work, but I felt like I putted well. So it is very loads of positives. I think Bolton Old Links golf course was in beautiful condition. Um and I'm excited now for Monday. I, I, I feel like there's a low one. I feel like there's a low one building up the low round because my normal issues is off the tee. I'm hitting it fantastic off the tee, hitting this lovely little fade. 
fade. I'm honestly, I'm loving it. I'm hitting this lovely golf shot, hitting so many more fairways. You can't hit 17 greens if you're not giving yourself chance to hit greens. I mean, I'm really impressed with that. So, I'm going to work hard this week on chipping and putting. Lots and lots of putting practices. Again, you start, so at the start of this vlog, I've got a par 3 golf course on my doorstep, which I'm going to be practicing on all over the weekend. Ready for Monday, ready to do it. I can't wait. I'm dead excited. Thanks for following me, guys. As always, appreciate all your messages, all your support. It's very much appreciated. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, we're shooting some really good numbers. I feel excited about this. I feel like it's getting there. And we're only only at the start of this journey. Amazing. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you next time.